I tell everybody I'm from Puerto Rico. Even though when Bosco entered the workroom, I was the first one. Tell me, hi, my name is Bosco. I say, hi, I'm from Puerto Rico. Girl, I was so proud to be in Puerto Rico. I'm Bosco. Bosco, nice to meet you. I'm from Puerto Rico. Lovely, Lady. I'm from Seattle. I, I didn't understand that it was Boston. I understood her name, but I was so proud to to say that I was from Puerto Rico that I forgot to say my name Alyssa and everybody in social media was like, oh, Alyssa Hunter. Yeah. She thought yeah. that the Bosco said Boston. No, 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 I understood her name. Bosco, not Boston. Shady bitches. Well, just to clarify, where are you from? Just kidding. Oh. I'm from Boston. <laughs> You're a Boston queen? I'm, I'm a Boston queen, yeah. <laughs> Born and raised here, but yeah, I feel Boston. Hey guys, hola a todos. Welcome to my house here in Puerto Rico. I am Alyssa Hunter, all the way from RuPaul's Drag Race season 14. But the question is, why are you here? Ah, you wanna see my closet? Let's go. <laughs> I'm nervous. No, no, that's ugly. I'm gonna stash it away. I just... I love this, this noise. Well, Puerto Rico is my place. It's my island, my soul, my everything. I am very proud to be a Puerto Rican, as you guys know. I come from this small, tiny island in the map, but when you get here, there's a lot of places to go. And I feel very proud to represent not just only a island, it's an entire community, Latinos over there. Todos los Latinos me encantan. O sea, re representarlo es un orgullo. And yeah, I feel, I feel very proud to be Puerto Rican. So, and this is Puerto Rico, and I love Puerto Rico. <laughs> and Puerto Rico, everybody. <laughs> to me, fashion is very important because it's the way to express myself. I grew up watching my mom, putting high heels, putting her dresses from Miss Puerto Rico pageant because I don't know if you, if you guys know, but my mom competed in Miss Puerto Rico pageant in 1994, a year before I was born. So it was very interesting my, my childhood because I was supposed to race and play with cars. Love it. But my games was putting dresses and high heels from my mom. It's not my mom's fault that I'm a drag. Well, kind of, but it's how you, how you express yourself. And I find myself and I feel very, pretty happy doing that. Well, guys, welcome to my closet. This is the space, a little tiny space, but with a lot of love and a lot of passion. You can see all my looks, not, not all of them, I have a lot in my storage, but this is um, one of my favorite ones and the most special ones. As you can see, I am a very organized person and I separate both sides. I have a balance. I love to have this amazing balance that between Alyssa and Josh, that's my name. And because I model as a boy and I do drag too. So I separate the drag uh, closet from the, drag, uh, from the opposite closet. So yeah, I think it's very important to have a balance in life because I love to model as a boy. I love to do things as a Joshua, but also I love drag. That's my passion, that's my life too. Alyssa has her own room, her own closet, high heels and stuff, because I don't want to open the door and, and see wigs, because that's my job. And you cannot see nothing here. Well, just only photos, you know, because memories. And thanks to Alyssa, I got those memories. So yeah, super grateful. Alyssa Hunter is very like versatile queen. I love to use jumpsuits, swimsuit, obviously because I'm from the tropical island, Puerto Rico. I do love everything about drag. I love like wigs. I look put in my, my corset. No, just kidding, I hate corset. I hate padding. Ooh, girl, bye. No padding, no, 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 no. No, because it's so, 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 so sweat. I need to talk, obviously, because you know, I don't have a penis. But it's like, just have fun with the outfit. So I'm gonna start with my reveal look. It was inspired by the arcade. It was very like futuristic. I love it, it's very fashionable. It was very comfortable actually. Reveal look. I was a futuristic bitch. <laughs> I love it. this is by my friend, Josian Oscobar. He's from Puerto Rico too. Yeah, this is one of my favorite looks from the show. Also, this is the headpiece. Okay, I made it by myself with hot glue. Shh, you can see. I'm just kidding, don't see it. Oh yes, I love hot glue, yes. 
I love hot glue because I don't like to sew. <laughs> I hate to sew. You guys know that I love using hot glue. I still had the one, the bridal, I forgot the name, the bridal, bridal couture glue gun because I use glue. I still have it. I didn't have this skirt because it was so hard to travel with, so I put it in the trash, you know, production, whatever, bye. It's made all hot glue. So yeah, as I said, even though I didn't win, I look sickening using hot glue. So baby, if you cannot solve, use a hot glue, be creative. God gave me a talent in my hand to do a lot of things, but I can use hot glue. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and I can make a garment. I, I love it, and I I, I enjoy the process, like putting a, a like put in the mannequin a simple outfit or maybe a base, and start gluing things and just rolling my imagination. And then I saw that the result. I feel very proud. It's not cheap. It's talent, baby, because it's more it's more talent than sewing. Because sewing is like you have the the help of a machine, where you're doing things by your own, and you're hurting yourself and burning your hands. Glue guns, love you. I also made this with hot glue, and it's hot glue, literally, this is not so. And yeah, hot glue. Hot glue, hot glue, hot glue. I'm keen saying it. Hot glue queen, yay. Da -da -da -da. The machine, give me the hot glue and I can create you a garment. Costumey, to me, is like, it's rude <laughs> because it's like I feel like they call me Paris City, and baby, I'm not eBay in a Paris City. Well, sometimes weeks from eBay, but this wig is very interesting. <laughs> this is the cheapest wig that I had in my closet. It's only cost me ten dollars on eBay, and actually, fun fact, I auditioned with this wig. My my audition tape, my Alyssa. Uh, part interview part I made it with this wig you know very like pride and stuff so I love it whatever skip that but we spent a lot of money so costume is like costume like baby it's outfits creations art that's my favorite word art and then when the show starts, I was very excited to show the world my favorite look and one of my special ones because it's my kind of my signature because of Hunter. You guys know me as like a hunting queen. So this was my entrance look. It's made by one of my friends, special persons in the world, Javier Arnardo. He's from Puerto Rico too. And this is like hunting kind of warrior diva. I love it. I love the colors. I love the concept. I don't know where my bow. I think I somebody stole it from me. My entrance look. My entrance look was an inspiration of my last name, Hunter. Here in Puerto Rico, a lot of people when I compete in the in the local pageants, they call me La Casadora because I hunter the crowns. I won the five most most important crowns here in the island. So they call me La Casadora. Oh, here we go, La Casadora to hunt another crown. So I said, okay, I think I, I have the opportunity to, to entrance with something that my Puerto Rican people support me and that's La Casadora. So yeah, that's my inspiration. I enter with a hunter. Wow. I love this. One of the, so, okay. One of the most challenge that I was more excited about, it was the, oh, okay, put it. So when I received the call to be on Drag Race, I was very excited to participate in the ball challenge. Because I'm a look queen, I love runway, I love wearing outfits and creating outfits. So I was glad to be on the ball, even though I didn't win, boo, shade. But I very excited to wear this amazing outfit that you guys know, it was viral in social media because Violet Shashki loved it. This is the headpiece and this is the costume. It's, it's, it was like very like avant-garde, very like Terry Mugler inspiration. Simple, but elegant. So when Violet Shashki told Monet at the pit stop in my season that she wants to wear this, baby, that's a very compliment because as you guys know, Violet Shashki, she is a fashion icon. So even though I didn't win the ball, to me, I won. Thanks to Violet Shashki. 
<laughs> Seeing myself in that TV is very different to be there, obviously. Uh, to be there, there, there's a lot of emotions. You miss your family, you miss your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my phone, uh, my social media, my life. But uh, to see myself in the TV, it, it was kind of a mix of emotions. I feel proud. I look gorgeous, obviously. Hello, hello, puppy. I, do, I was a trade. I'm uh, just kidding. But um, yeah, it's very. You, you you feel proud. You feel proud to to achieve something and and to 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 success. I mean, we work so hard sometimes to be in one position and to finally get there the result and to see yourself in a big TV, in a big screen that the entire world see you is a dream come true. So I feel so proud. I need to tattoo this one. Yeah, because you need to believe in yourself. Always. If you don't believe yourself, how do you get somebody else? Well, can I say an amen? No? Whatever. I don't have really favorite. I mean, yes, I have one. Um, was my zebra? I hate that one. Yeah. Why? Because I don't know. It's it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. It was like I have the tail. I have the the K the the, 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 the thing in my head. It was like when I see myself, I was like, what the f is in my mind? I, I put it all. I was like, oh, and maybe in that moment, I was feeling it. I was say, ah, I think because of that, I was safe and not in the top. I regret so badly. I'm gonna show you guys my finale look to demonstrate that even though I was a limited second, baby, I'm the look queen of the season. I'm the look queen of the season. I really enjoyed every single detail of this outfit. And also, I wear this fan with the money inside so I can make my redemption because of my lip sync. You guys know that I, I, oh, I'm not talking about that. I hate money guns with the money gun and the money fall. So that was my only opportunity to say to you and to the world that maybe I'm here, even though the money gun fell. Oh my God, Jennifer Lopez. My, my look, my inspiration from JLo's look was a last minute one. But my first uh, option was Anaconda from the movie Anaconda. The one that she's doing the fighting. The description was the gangster. Uh, dinero, yo quiero, yo quiero dinero. Eh, that's why I, my JLo car set, the one that I use to such your way. And fun fact, another creation with hot glue. You want to see it? Dude! <laughs> I feel very, very uh, happy to wear that because I'm a very fan of women wearing like men suits, pants, very like not butch, but. I mean, I'm, I don't have nothing against the bush, but you know, like um, so sophisticated women. And so I feel very strong and powerful J-Lo look. So this is the other part of my closet and look who's behind me. Ta -da -da! This is my mirror mirror look. Even though I didn't have the chance to wear it in the main stage, I posted it in the social media and baby, you guys know it was viral. You can see my Instagram. My mirror mirror look, wow, I, I, I didn't design it, I'm gonna be honest. So it's made by Yoshoma Ponte. It's super, super campy, avant-garde, but still fashionable. The inspiration was like Evil Queen. I have the apple in my ass, and it's very comfy. I love it, I love it. I feel very proud to have this amazing piece here in my closet. I have two looks that I was praying to show into the main stage. One of them was the mirror mirror one. And the other one that I was very excited to wear was the big flower for Spring Has Sprung. And sadly, that was the wrong way after I was eliminated. So I was so pissed off that, oh my God, I'm still pissed off because of that. Because maybe if I open that flower in that main stage, RuPaul's, RuPaul is gonna sashay away all those bitches and say, put the crown on her. But Everything happened for a reason, and they don't want it to end the, the season in that episode. So they sashayed me away. This is the chocolate bar from my season. You know, the twist that they made it to us. They was, this was the chocolate bar. But yeah, it's chocolate. It smells good, by the way. Thank you, RuPaul, for that twist. So my, my dream in drag, I love to perform, I'm gonna be honest, but I love more modeling 
So there is a misconception about being drag and have your, your male side. So I want to have that balance, like model as a boy and keep doing my work. I mean, separate those, but being the same person. Yeah, and I, I think I, I am in a good way right now. I'm in my way. What is next for me? That's a good question. Just keep doing my thing, keep living my life with happiness, passion, love, respect, very important respect. Drag Race is not the end of my career. I mean, I am very happy and I'm super grateful and I forever, forever be grateful to this amazing opportunity to today choose me from this tiny little island and now I have the opportunity to express myself to the world and yeah, express who I am. So you're gonna see a lot of Alyssa Hunter and Josh. Well guys, that's all. I hope you guys enjoy my tour here in my house in Puerto Rico and my looks and my season 14 experience. But now it's time to go. I love you all. Mwah! And thank you for your support. It's a wrap. Bye. Perico. Perico. <laughs> Oh, hey, everybody, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want Emmy-nominated gay Well, then subscribe to RuPaul's Drag Race on YouTube.